It's been an absolutely jam-packed week with AI news. Today, we're gonna break down each of the new updates. Let's dive right in. First up, ChatGPT and the OpenAI team have announced their new O1 model. And these models are supposed to be much better at complex tasks. They analyze your input and then consider multiple different outputs before deciding which one is best. Overall, in my testing, it seems to be a big leap over ChatGPT 4.0. But if you're looking for a full video on that, feel free to check it out in the description. Next, this one is definitely a doozy, but Apple unveiled Apple Intelligence along with their new product line. With it come an impressive array of AI capabilities. I'm gonna brush over these today and then make a full video about all of the different features that they're adding. The first thing is they are improving Siri tenfold. It can now handle complex conversations with back and forth. It understands your preferences and makes planning and goal setting much easier. It has knowledge of your device. So say you have a question about settings in your device or how something works, it'll be able to help you do that. It can interact with your screen content now. So say you receive a message from somebody and they send you their address, you can tell Siri to add that address to their contact card. And then a big one, it can search all the way across each of your different applications on your phone. So it has knowledge of everything and can combine those together for you. The Photos app got a rehaul as well. Every time that you take a photo or a video, it's gonna be tagged for the AI. That way, if you're trying to find something, it can easily do so. They have a great new feature called Storyline Creation, where you can type up a message on what you want your story to be. So say, my trip to Barcelona, Spain and it will compile all of the images and videos into a movie for you. And then they have a couple of other tools coming out to help you edit your images better. With messages, there's a couple of really cool features coming out. So one of the big ones I noticed is that you can send later. So if there's a message that you wanna type up the night before and have it send it in the morning, you can tell it to do so. There's Genmojis, so you can type a description uh, of an emoji that you want and the AI will create it for you. And then just generally with writing, whether it's in your messages, in your notes or any application, there's going to be a writing assistant so that it can suggest text for you, it can edit your text and proofread it. Some of the other cool features, uh, the focus mode got an overhaul and this is kind of combined with notifications. Notifications now have priority, meaning that say you're in a focus mode and you don't want any notifications coming in, Apple is able to identify which ones are very important and time sensitive and only push those through. It can also suggest app usage for you based on where you're at, what time it is, and your usage of those applications. With email, there's a couple of new features as well. It's able to prioritize those similar to the notifications and make sure that you're aware of mail that is very time sensitive. So say you've got a flight coming up later tonight or you receive a message that the sender says they need a response in the next 10 minutes. It's gonna put those at the top of the inbox for you. And then with things like phone calls, you can actually record the phone call and get an audio transcription of it and have AI summarize it for you. Last but not least, there is ChatGPT integration as well. So if Siri and the Apple intelligence feels that it's not answering your question thoroughly, it can push it out with your permission to ChatGPT to answer the question further or do the task. The last thing to note is that Apple had a huge emphasis on privacy and security when going over all of these new features, which obviously to the consumer is very important because something that has access to all of your apps and all of your information is a little bit concerning. Based on their website, Apple Intelligence will be available soon with most of their newer devices. All right, moving on, Google Labs just released a really cool feature on their notebook application which is called audio review. And what it does is takes your notes, presentations, ideas, research, or whatever you throw into this notebook and converts it into a podcast with two hosts. So if you come to their website, notice that they call it a research assistant. And like I said, you just upload your documents 
In our case, I will just upload the script for the YouTube video that I'm making currently. And you can see you can upload whatever you want, whether that's your own files, a link to a source, or just pasted text like we're using. And it's gonna spit out a summary of whatever you provided. You can tell it to help you create multiple different things, which has already been a feature on this application. But the new feature on the top right here is a deep dive conversation. And as you can see, two hosts are gonna talk about the topic in a podcast format. Hey Learner, welcome back for another deep dive. This week, um, we're diving into the world of AI. And whoa, what a week it's been, right? It really has been a whirlwind of announcements. Let's start with OpenAI. They just gave their Plus users a sneak peek at their new O1 models. And the big buzzword is deeper thinking. But what does that even mean? Well, it's about AI that can actually, you know, think more like we do. Not just processing information, but understanding it, seeing the nuances, making connections. So like instead of just spitting out facts, it's more about actual analysis and problem solving. Exactly. Like imagine asking an older model to analyze a financial report and make investment recommendations. You'd get a very basic response, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Based on surface level trends. With these new O1 models, the goal is to get AI that can think more like a seasoned expert. Google Photos is coming out with an Ask Photos feature, which reminds me a lot of what Apple Intelligence is referring to with their new Photos feature. You'll be able to ask Google in a natural way to search through your photos and find exactly what you're looking for. Jumping over to Robotics, 1X Robotics has released a short teaser of their at-home humanoid robot. Take a look at this. Next, in the world of coding, Cursor AI has really blown up over the past few weeks. It enhances the code experience with features like code generation, real-time error detection, and predictive editing. One of the coolest things about it is that you can chat with your code like it's a human being to ask questions, get solutions, and have it generate code for you. On top of that, you can use almost any model that's out there, including the new O1 preview with ChatGPT. I have clearly been nerding out on this one a little too much because 75% of my Twitter timeline is examples of people creating crazy applications, extensions, and other things using Cursor. Lastly, Salesforce, which is an industry-leading CRM tool, is coming out with something called Industries AI. And what they're trying to do is give consumers out-of-the-box AI solutions for specific tasks that were previously tedious. They go over quite a few examples, but some of the notable ones is matching patients to clinical studies, where the AI tool is able to scrub all of the patient criteria and match it to the clinical trial criteria. In the automotive industry, they're using one of these tools to monitor vehicle condition. That way they can better handle maintenance scheduling and opportunities to keep people safe. And as you can see, this list goes on and on. They are saying they're coming out with a hundred of these solutions for 15 different industries, and I'm sure that will continue to grow. With such a big week in AI news, I'm sure I missed something, and if so, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more.